TikTok is currently one of the most popular social media apps, and I've heard so many people tell me that I should jump on it right now while I can still get good organic reach. But my thoughts were, isn't it just a place where good looking girls dance to music? At least I'm not gonna dance on there, that's for sure. But then I decided to try it out anyway for 30 days, just to see what it can do for me as an entrepreneur that doesn't make dance videos. And you know what? I absolutely loved it. So right now I'm gonna show you some of the things that I learned in those 30 days on TikTok. And I'm gonna show you how many followers I actually got on TikTok and also how many of those carried over to my other social platforms. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So to begin with, I created my account and I tried to set it up as well as possible so as many people as possible will also check out my YouTube channel. TikTok has a really nice bio where you can connect your Instagram account and your YouTube channel and then people can just seamlessly click on a button and then go to those places and follow you there as well. I don't think any other social media platform makes it so easy to get people to follow you on other platforms. Most platforms just want people to stay on their own platform to make more money. So this makes TikTok really unique. One thing that I couldn't figure out though is how to get a clickable link in your bio and I saw other people having it, so of course I wanted that too. So I did some research and I found out that you need to upgrade your account to a pro account. And when you do that, you get to choose between a creator account and a business account. And I'm a creator, I guess, so that's what I chose. But I found out that if you have a creator account, you need at least a thousand followers to get the link option. So if you have less than a thousand followers, you need the business account to get the link. So I ended up switching back to a business account. So now I have finally set up my account and I was ready to create some TikTok videos. Now, before I show you what kind of videos I created myself, I wanna show you what kind of videos TikTok allows you to create. The idea behind TikTok was that you create a short video with some kind of music or sound on top of it. And that's why a lot of the videos on the platform are dance videos, but there are also sounds with people talking and all sorts of other things. So you can really be creative with using these different sounds. But you can also just record a normal video with your own sound, just like I'm doing right here. It just has to be short format, so less than one minute. And this is probably the obvious choice for someone like me that wants to teach people. Other than these two options, you also have the option to make videos with other people's videos. And you can do that by making a duet or a stitch. Using both options, you make a video that includes other people's videos. And the original owner always gets credit for this. So that's why people actually want other people to make videos with their video. So let me explain a little bit more what these two things are. A duet is simply where you make a video where you interact in some kind of way with someone else's video. And it's actually a little bit like the reaction videos you see here on YouTube, where you see someone watching a video and then they react to it and add some extra value. A duet can also be someone that dances along to someone else's dance. So you kind of have these two dances side by side so you can kind of compare. Here's one of my duets with Gary Vaynerchuk's video. What are you gonna do when you grow up? I wanna be a YouTuber. My man, what are you gonna talk about? I don't know, really. You'll figure it out? Yeah. Are you making some content now? Yeah. What are you talking about, your life? Mine. Your interests? Yeah. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> don't ever, ever, ever worry about how many people are subscribed to your channel. The number one reason kids lose on YouTube is they care too much about how many people are subscribed to them. Just be patient, make good content. Nobody was following me for a long, long time. Longer than you were alive right now. Got it? Got it. Love you. <laughs> Great. As you can see, I react to the video and then I write some text on top of it so I kind of deliver some extra value. And with the text, I'm just sort of trying to explain what I'm thinking while I watch the video. A stitch then allows you to create a video with someone else's video and then you cut off the ending and then you create your own alternative ending. This can also be really, really funny if you are creative with it. So those are the options for making TikTok videos. So let's get into what kind of videos I decided to make. So my first three videos was just some of my YouTube videos that was repurposed. So I cut them into clips that's less than one minute and they did get some views, but having in mind that we are on TikTok, it didn't really do well. So I tried to switch up my tactics. So what I did was I found some popular videos on TikTok that went viral and then I tried to make my own version of those. So I ended up making a video where I show how much money I make on YouTube. And this was my first video that got over 40,000 views. And then I was hooked. So I decided to create as much content as possible in those 30 days. And I ended up making around 26 videos in 30 days. So that's almost one per day on average. Most of them was original sounds where it's just me talking and then a few of them was duets. I didn't really make any stitches because I didn't really have any good ideas for that. So how did it go and how many followers did I get? After three days and five videos, I had a total of 49 followers, which is 
definitely better than what I could do on any other social media platform. But in terms of TikTok, that's not really that good. So I just kept working. And after 30 days, I had a total of 735 followers. I was kind of disappointed. It wasn't really performing as well as everyone said on the internet. I've heard so many people say that they got 100K followers in three days or something insane and I am nowhere near that. If we take a look at my stats, you can see that to begin with, I gained a decent amount of followers and then it just kind of flatlined. So what was I doing wrong? Of course, I decided to dive a little bit deeper in my stats and I found the problem. Most of my followers was from my own country, Denmark. So I found out that TikTok is prioritizing to show your videos to people in your own country. So maybe if I made videos in Danish, they would do a lot better. So I decided to test it out on a separate account. So I took some of my best performing English videos and then I translated them into Danish to compare their performance. And sure enough, my Danish videos performed way better. The video where I show my YouTube ad revenue went somewhat viral and got over 250,000 views. And it even gained the views quite quickly. And keep in mind, the English version still had around 40,000 views even after 30 days. So I was definitely onto something. And after only three days, I found myself having over a thousand followers on my Danish account. So I had already beaten what has taken me a whole month to do on my English account. And now after only nine days, I have over 4,000 followers on my Danish account. That's insane, right? So if you wanna make TikTok videos and you live in a country that's a non-English speaking country, then you should definitely consider making TikTok videos in your own native language. At least that obviously worked way better for me. So definitely test it out. And who knows how many followers I can get in a year if I already have 4,000 followers in nine days. It's so crazy. Okay, so now you know what happened with my TikTok accounts. So let's take a look at what happened to my other social media accounts while this was happening. Was some of my followers carrying over to my other platforms or didn't it really help that much? Let's begin by taking a look at my YouTube analytics. All right, guys, welcome inside of my YouTube analytics. This is my analytics for my personal channel. This is the channel that I was promoting on my TikTok account. So before I started on TikTok, I only got like a few subscribers per day. Some days I didn't even get any and some days I lost subscribers. And then right here, I was starting my TikTok account in English. And as you guys can see, it suddenly grew to nine followers per day and 25, and then it kind of died off. So every time I had a good video, I got a few extra subscribers. And then it gets really interesting right here because right here, I was starting my Danish account. So as you guys can see, I gained a lot of followers suddenly. Suddenly I had a day where I gained 85 subscribers. If we take a look at last year, I have never gotten so many subscribers in a single day. It just explodes right here. And keep in mind, this is a channel that only had around 1800 subscribers before I started on TikTok. So getting 85 subscribers in a single day is a lot for my channel. So TikTok has been a huge help in growing my YouTube channel. And if we take a look at my views and my watch time in this period of time, we can also see that it grew quite a lot. It's not only because of TikTok, it's also because of this video right here. It got picked up in search, so suddenly it got a lot more views. But with that being said, TikTok also helped my views go out quite a bit. We can really see the impact of my Danish TikTok account if we take a look at my top geographies, because Denmark is suddenly 38% of my viewers. And before, the United States was by far the biggest country right here. So it's quite obvious that I've gained a lot of Danish followers and viewers. Also, it looks like people are finding me on TikTok and then they are searching for my name on YouTube, because suddenly the search term that I get the most traffic from is my own name with 14.2%. And before I started on TikTok, my name wasn't even on the list. Now let's take a look at my Instagram Instagram account. Instagram hasn't really been a place where I post that much, so I don't really have that many followers yet. Oh, and by the way, make sure you follow me on Instagram. But let's take a look at what kind of effect TikTok had on my account. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit more followers now, and you can also see a little bit of a spike, especially when I started my Danish account, but it's still nothing crazy. But as I said, I don't really post that much on Instagram, so that might also be the reason why I don't gain that many followers. But there's no doubt that TikTok still helped my Instagram account. Before, I didn't really grow at all, and now I'm getting followers every day, so it definitely helped. So my conclusion with this video is that TikTok is an amazing platform. If you're not on there yet, I would definitely recommend it. Don't hesitate like I did. Just jump on it right now 
while you still have a lot of organic reach. Because who knows, soon it could be like Instagram and Facebook where you make a post and then you don't even reach all of your own followers. So if you're a YouTuber, an entrepreneur, anything online, jump on TikTok. And of course, make sure you watch my other videos over here. Subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.